Refraction and the Lifeguard Metaphor, a ninth grade conceptual physics video. When light goes from one medium to another, it refracts. A medium is a substance, like air or water or glass or oil, that light can pass through. We notice that light always bends when it enters a new medium at an angle. We need to think about why light bends and find an equation that will show the relationship between the angles. But first, some vocabulary. Medium is the substance light is going through. The ray of incidence is the ray of light coming in to the surface. Once the ray light has been refracted, the ray is called the ray of refraction. Again, we draw a normal to the surface at the point of refraction. The angles we care about are between the normal and the rays. The angle of incidence is between the normal and the ray of incidence. The angle of refraction is between the normal and the ray of refraction. Notice that the angle of refraction, in this case, is smaller than the angle of incidence. If we went the other way, if the light started from the water, the rays would follow the same path, but they would have different names. The angle of incidence would be between the normal and the ray of incidence. The angle of refraction would be between the normal and the ray of refraction. Notice that now the angle of refraction is larger than the angle of incidence. If we were to run numerous experiments, we would find that light always makes a smaller angle in water when the two mediums are air and water, except when it comes in along the normal. More experiments would show us that light refracts at an even more pronounced angle when light goes from air into oil, except when it's along the normal. If we had big blocks of diamond to work with, which we will never ever have, we would see that the refraction was even more extreme, except when it was along the normal. So what is going on? Can you think of what is different about the three different mediums, air, water, oil, and diamond? And guess what might be important? You might have thought that all the mediums have different densities. Scientists have a term called optical density, which means how dense is it to light? When light goes through a substance, the light is basically absorbed or swallowed and re-emitted, like spit out, by the molecules in the medium. Here's some water molecules. Light comes in, gets absorbed, gets spit out, absorbed, spit out, absorbed, spit out. It takes time for this to happen. Not a lot of time, but some time. In water, the molecules are relatively close together, but in air, the molecules are much farther apart, so the light is absorbed and re-emitted much faster. In diamond, the molecules are really close together. The carbon atoms are actually in a vast matrix, and it takes a very long time for the light to get through. compared to air. So the light goes slower in mediums that are more optically dense, and light goes faster in mediums that are less optically dense. Here is a metaphor that helps some people remember the behavior of light during refraction. It is called the lifeguard metaphor. Imagine a lifeguard at the beach. The lifeguard sees a drowning person. The goal of the lifeguard is to get to the person in the least amount of time. The lifeguard can run faster on the sand than she can swim. She has three paths she can take to get to the drowning person. She can take the shortest distance and run in a straight line. She can run as much as possible on the sand, which makes the longest distance, or she could run a little bit more on the sand and a little bit less in the water. You can do a lot of algebra, and you're welcome to do it actually as I work, to prove that the path of least time is the one that works exactly like light refracts, making a larger angle of incidence than angle of refraction. Like a lifeguard, when light moves from a medium in which it moves fast to a medium in which it moves slow, it refracts to make a smaller angle with the normal. Angle of refraction is less than angle of incidence. Another way of thinking about this is that the ray of light bends towards the normal. The dotted pink line is the way that the light would have gone if it had not refracted, and it kind of swings towards the normal. If we go the other way, say a lifeguard's in the water and needs to save someone being attacked by alligators on land, the lifeguard needs to run a shorter distance in the water and a longer distance on land in order to get there in the least time. 
and here the angle of refraction would be greater than the angle of incidence. As light goes into a medium where it moves faster, it bends away from the normal. Again, we can think of our light swinging away. 